You want to learn the brachial plexus? Well, read that damn cadaver book. Let me explain. Imagine this person here, sitting under a tree, reading their book, and that tree is the perfect way to understand the brachial plexus. Let's start with the roots. The foundation of the brachial plexus, you've got five roots. C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. Now let's climb up a little. The roots come together to form the trunks of the tree. Superior trunk comes from C5 and C6. The middle trunk continues straight from C7, and the inferior trunk is formed by C8 and T1. Next, you'll see the trunk splitting into divisions, with A for interior and P for posterior divisions. The divisions reorganize into the cords of the brachial plexus. They're named relative to the position of the axillary artery. We have the lateral cord over here, posterior cord in the middle, and the medial cord on the other side. Now what you really need to know is the branches, the five main nerves that supply the arm. From the medial cord you got the ulnar nerve, and off the lateral cord you got the musculocutaneous nerve. The posterior cord gives us two branches, the radial nerve and the axillary nerve. And finally the median nerve, this one's special because it's formed by contributions from both the lateral and medial cords. So remember, read that damn cadaver book under the tree. Now that we covered the basics of the brachial plexus, roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches, let's dive deeper. There are some other important branches coming off the brachial plexus that you'll definitely want to know. Let's go step by step, and I'll even throw in some mnemonics to help you remember. From the roots, we have the dorsal scapular nerve, off the C5 nerve root, which supplies the rhomboid muscles. Then the roots C5, C6, and C7 come together to give us the long thoracic nerve, which innervates the serratus anterior muscle, the one that keeps your scapula from winging. I like using the mnemonic SALT, serratus anterior, long thoracic. Now from the superior trunk, it gives rise to the suprascapular nerve, which innervates the supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles. Also from the superior trunk is the nerve to subclavius, supplying the subclavius muscle. From the lateral cord, we have the lateral pectoral nerve, which innervates the pectoralis major muscle. From the medial cord, we have three key branches to know. Medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, and the medial pectoral nerve, which innervates the pec major and minor muscles. Lastly, from the posterior cord, which also gives rise to three important branches to know. Upper subscapular nerve, which innervates the subscapularis muscle. The thoracodorsal nerve supplies the latissimus dorsi muscle. And the lower subscapular nerve, which innervates the subscapularis and the teres major muscles. Awesome! Now this was the tree of brachial plexus. We also have a lesson on the brachial plexus, making it really simple and something you can even draw. Subscribe to this channel and watch that lesson next. You're really gonna like it. If you'd like to see more of this lesson, head over to our Instagram page and TikTok channel at rev.med. We'll have this lesson along with many other topics for you to study. By the way, don't forget to do questions. Are you learning something from our videos? Well then click the subscribe button to your right. We are releasing high yield lessons and ways for you to get ahead in class. Be sure to follow us on Instagram to take interactive quizzes and view your favorite diagrams. Nothing can stop you, but only if you believe in yourself. You got this.